Alright guys, so what if the Grand Priest actually lied to all the angels about the Omni King? What if everything that they know about the Omni King, it is not true? It is actually false. So in the Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods movie and also in the Dragon Ball Super TV show, as soon as Beerus came to Earth, nobody stood a single chance up against this guy. He was able to take everyone down with a single blow. Even after getting a brand new transformation which is a Super Saiyan God, Goku stood no chance up against Beerus. See in the beginning we knew that Beerus was the strongest being in the entire Dragon Ball series. And towards the end of the Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods movie, as the fight between Beerus and Goku concluded, we found out that Beerus is not the strongest but he is the second strongest. Beerus revealed that Whis is his master and Whis is much stronger than himself. And then guys we found out that there are other gods out there that are much stronger than Beerus himself in other universes. And in Dragon Ball Super when Vegeta found out that Beerus was not the strongest but his master Whis was stronger, he was totally freaked out. He was shocked. And guys I'm pretty sure that back in Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods when Beerus first said that, Whis was stronger than him. I'm pretty sure that everyone that was watching was in some kind of a shock, some kind of wow. So once again, Beerus was able to take everyone down with just a single blow. Then guys, at the end of Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods movie and also in Dragon Ball Super as well, when Beerus returned to his home world with some food that he'd taken from Earth with Whis, and suddenly as Whis was away, he ate something that was super spicy. And guys, because of that, Beerus became out of control and he was destroying things all over the place. But suddenly, Whis came out of nowhere and then he said, that's enough. And then guys, he knocked Beerus out just like that, with just a single blow. And even later on in the Dragon Ball Super series, we found out that Vados is even stronger than Whis. So afterwards in Dragon Ball Super, there was a tournament between Universe 6 versus Universe 7. So at the end of the tournament, we met somebody even stronger. And that is none other than the Omni King, the one above all. And when the gods actually saw the Omni King, they freaked out and they completely lost their minds. And they immediately vowed down to the Omni King. So guys, after that, after everything happened, we then met the Grand Priest and guys, we said he doesn't even compare to the Grand Priest. And we also have found out that the Grand Priest is one of the top 5 strongest fighters that there are. Now guys, what if the Grand Priest is actually more powerful than the Omni King himself? Just like how Beerus and Whis actually are, at first all of us thought that Beerus was the strongest and everyone obeys and fears Beerus and guys, later on, Beerus himself said that. Whis is his teacher, and Whis is much stronger than himself. Guys, pretty much all the angels are stronger than their respective gods of destruction. And as we have seen before, when Beerus lost control, it was Whis the one that actually stopped Beerus with a single blow. Without a single doubt, the gods lose control sometimes and they act like they're not supposed to act. And guys, with that, it is the job of the angels to actually control them, to keep them in check. And guys, that is why I think the Grand Priest also serves the same purpose as well. I think that he's much stronger than the Omni King himself. And the Grand Priest's purpose is to keep the Omni King in check, keep him in control when he loses control. And if you guys really think about it, the Omni King is actually a child. A child with immense amounts of power. And guys, don't you guys think that there has to be someone that has to keep him in check in case he loses complete control. And right now some of you guys might be saying that in Dragon Ball Super it was clearly stated that Omni King is above all. There is no one else above the Omni King. So in the beginning of the Goku Black and Zamasu arc as Whis, Beerus, Vegeta and Goku were eating on Beerus's planet, this is what we said about the Omni King. And he said the Omni King is the most supreme of all deities, ruling over the entire multiverse. There is no one above him. And then Goku says, does that mean that he's the strongest fighter out of anyone anywhere? Then Whis replied back, you know your saints have a terrible habit of judging a being's power by his physical capabilities alone. And then guys, Beerus was quiet for a while. Then Beerus said, the Omni King is not a fighter Goku, but without a doubt, he's the mightiest. You can't simply fathom his power. Guys, without a shadow of a doubt, the Omni King has immense amounts of power. And this is what we said about the Omni King's power. Grand Zeno can eliminate anything that he wishes in the blink of an eye, regardless of the scale or complexity. A single life form or a world or a galaxy or an entire universe. And if he ever wanted to, he can annihilate everything, all of reality as we know it. And now many of you guys might be saying, how can I say that the Grand Priest is more powerful than the Omni King? Because Whis himself said that, there is no one else above the Omni King. He is beyond everyone. Now to begin with, Whis knows some things that others can't even fathom. But guys, the thing is, Whis does not know everything. And even if Whis knows everything there is to know, was he really told the truth about everything? Now what if the Grand Priest actually lied to not only Whis but all the angels? And he told the angels that there is no one else beyond the Omni King. There is no one else above him. But in reality, he's the one that is more powerful than even the Omni King.
Anyways, you guys, that is about that's all I have for you guys today. Do let me know what you guys think about this. Comment shown down below. And if you guys have enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. And also, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. I'll catch you later. Thank you for watching and have a blessed day, my friends.